In this video, we'll cover some quick facts about Alpine Linux. Alpine Linux is a free, open source, non-commercial distribution of Linux, and it really focuses around security, simplicity, and a really small footprint, which allows resources to be used much more efficiently. Alpine Linux has been around for several years now. However, it became more popular due to the increased use of Docker, containers, and microservices-based architecture. So as an example, if you are looking at uh, Docker-based delivery, um, so uh, a single image of Alpine is approximately 4.5 MB, and that's tiny compared to some of the other popular distributions such as Ubuntu and CentOS. So as an example, you can see here that Ubuntu is um, somewhere north of uh, 100 MB, maybe about 130 MB, and uh, CentOS being much larger, whereas uh, Alpine, the base image is only around 4.5 MB. And that's really handy when you're delivering Docker-based solutions, when you want to download or deploy or uh, store various versions of um, your images, uh, it becomes really handy to have a really small image size. So while small in terms of storage might be one factor, the real benefit of Alpine is some of the simplicity and because it doesn't come with a, a boatload of uh, various uh, Linux uh, software, it's actually much more secure. So the way that Alpine achieves all that is uh, by using a couple of things. So first off, uh, if you're trying to uh, convert your image to you, or Docker image to use uh, Alpine, or if you're just looking at Alpine, a few things to keep in mind. So first off, um, uh, keep in mind that Alpine uses BusyBox. Uh, if you're not familiar with BusyBox, I've uh, covered it in a lot more detail in uh, one of my previous videos in the description below. But uh, suffice to say that uh, BusyBox is, um, a very, uh, in comparison with standard Linux, it's a, a collection of various Linux commands packaged into a single larger executable file. And um, in case of uh, Alpine Linux, the uh, more than 300 plus commands, Linux commands that have been packaged into a single executable file, which is BusyBox. Uh, though BusyBox does not come with all the wealth and features of uh, standard Linux uh, commands, it's uh, really handy to have it in a single executable file. And also given the fact that um, a, a shell is the default in case of BusyBox, uh, it's again the default shell in case of Alpine Linux. And uh, in case of uh, the init system, unlike popular or most common uh, Linux distributions moving on to using systemd, uh, the init uh, start process in case of Alpine Linux uh, uses OpenRC. The other challenge when working with Alpine Linux is uh, to keep in mind that unlike uh, other popular Linux distributions which uh, typically use uh, the GNU lib uh, C libraries, um, Alpine Linux uh, more recently moved to the Muscle uh, library, uh, which, uh, which is quite compact and it's uh, compatible with uh, glib. Uh, however, it doesn't guarantee that all softwares work uh, exactly the same or perform uh, the same as glib. So it does require some validation. However, more recently, uh, again, with um, the, the rise of Docker and containers, a lot many vendors have um, either published their software or provided open source solutions that work with uh, Alpine. So when you go to Docker Hub, you can actually uh, look for tags that are using the Alpine Linux, so popular uh, systems like uh, Nginx, uh, Apache Server, MySQL, Postgres, etc., uh, are all uh, available in Alpine um, uh, containers, uh, Alpine images rather. And finally, when you're working to um, uh, to build your own uh, Docker files and Docker images, or if you're just uh, installing software on Linux, Alpine Linux, uh, it's uh, useful to keep in mind that uh, Alpine comes with its own package manager, the APK or the Alpine Package uh, Manager. So when you're building your own uh, Docker files, or uh, again, if you're building or uh, deploying software, uh, you will want to use the Package Manager, which um, uh, kind of resembles the uh, Debian apt uh, syntax in many ways, uh, or is actually much more simpler. So again, here is um, some quick facts to help you get started on Alpine Linux. Hope it's been helpful. Thanks.